Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about skateboarder Terry Kennedy. Terry was born in Long Beach on May 27, 1985, and went by the name TK. Growing up in the 80s and 90s were rough. Long Beach was full of gangs and also violence. And going outside, you were bound to see a lot and be exposed to a lot of things going on in that environment. Terry had it rough growing up with his mom being on drugs. Sometimes he would even have no food to eat with his mom using all the money on drugs. Terry became intrigued by skateboarding early, which would later become his future career. This was an uncommon thing coming from the hood, with many of his friends game banging or playing sports. Terry picked up skateboarding from a friend he had on his junior high basketball team. That's where his passion started. The first time he ever skated was at Cherry Park. At first, Terry had to hide he was skating because he knew he would face backlash in his community with no one accepting skateboarding and not taking him serious. Skateboarding kept Terry away from the streets and focusing on making it an alternative route. But with him not even being in the streets, Terry was still shot in 2005. In June of 2005, Terry went to a party and leaving out, somebody started shooting. This led to Terry being shot in the arm and the jaw, but these injuries wouldn't hold him back and he fully recovered. Talking about getting shot and stuff, but I wanted to know you know, not the circumstances around it, but what does it actually feel like getting shot? Like what, like, like at it's that hot. moment, dude. It's like that candle is hot. It's hot? Like, like it, it's burning, it burns. What, like at the moment it happened. It burns. Like, do you just go into shock? Did you, yeah. you felt it happen? You drew yourself in the hospital, right? Yeah. It just, it just, hard, uh, it just, I don't know, that shit is hot like that. So you feel burn more than you feel, feel a any, pain of like an yeah. impact or something? I felt the impact too, but it, 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 it mainly just burns more than anything. Like, shit just. So you're just dry. How long is it, I mean, God, how long does that last? I mean, you kept the bullet in there for, for a long, long time, thing, yeah. how long is the burning? Oh. But, Probably like the first like week after that Jesus. they did like all this surgery and all that type of stuff. So after that I was like just pretty much my face was numb and my arm was numb. Was after the that, arm even like? So, I mean, considering you got shot in the face, was the arm even? Was the arm like secondary? Yeah. Were you just like, oh, this is nothing compared to that? <laughs> like I don't know. I'm like curious. Like I'm fascinated by what right. it must feel like to get shot. So what are you thinking when you're driving to the hospital then? I mean, do you even remember that ride? Yeah, I, I did. feel like you'd I just be like. like yeah, I just thought I was dead. I'm like, that's so annoying. Well, you you driving yourself felt like to the hospital? Yeah, I'm like, I'm shot. dying. I'm like, it's over. That was it. I'm like, dude, I'm sick. Like, I'm dead. Like, I'm, any minute, like, um, that's it. Like, I can't, I ain't gonna be able to make it to the hospital. But I end up making it, and then from there, like, the doctors, they had did all the surgery. After several years of skating, Terry would start to build connections. This helped his skating progress to another level and even put him on a radar of the industry. He started to build a business relationship with Andrew Reynolds, the founder of Baker Skateboards. After a few years of skating, Terry would become a pro. Terry wouldn't be known for being the best skater out, but he would be known for his likable personality, which he's shown on skateboarding DVDs like Baker 2G and Baker 3, which helped him blow up to the world, being one of the first black skaters on a larger scale. This helped him grow an audience fast and a very fast following. Terry took his moment and ran with it. He started rapping and appearing in rap videos with other rappers and also making appearances on several shows and movies like three movie appearances where in 2009 he had a main role in a skating movie called Street Dreams. He also appeared in shows like Viva La Bam, Ron's House, and his own show on BET in 2010 called Being Terry Kennedy. The show lasted one season and shows Terry trials and tribulations in his family, his career, and life with starting his own clothing brand called Fly Society, to rapping, and even trying to make leaps with his skating. You could say Terry was really on the come up, and at this point in life, he was flashy, young, and one of the new faces of skating. Terry was living multiple lives. In his rapper life, he was rap beefing with multiple rappers, from G Check and Bow Wow about gang affiliations, and Bow Wow speaking on him, over Angela Simmons, who was his ex that Terry started dating, to beef him with Lupe Fiasco for what he said was Lupe being a fake skater, and even beef him with rapper Currency over a dispute over the Fly Society clothing brand. Terry had so many things going on and many different ventures. 
He lost touch with what made him a star, his skateboarding. He was going in different avenues in life and some going backwards. Um, I'm Terry Kennedy. I'm Terry Kennedy, homie. That's who I am. What is you doing, man? But we really, I really have to go there right now. But we really have to go there right now. Terry's career started to slow down when him stopped competing in competitions and never dropping footage of him working on his craft. He would even stop working with Andrew Reynolds and the Baker skating crew. Over the years, Terry would start a family and wouldn't be heard from so much. But with, even with the good, he seemed not to be the same. Terry's life would take a major spin. Terry had many rents on social media going off on several people, from other skateboarders and also gang members. You can find videos of him dissing the Rolling 20s, the Insanes, and the Rolling 60 Crips. This wasn't a good look for him. It seemed to many people like he had mental health issues or was on drugs. He would even separate from his family. While Terry was in Chicago, Terry would meet another skater named Josiah in 2021 while he was on a trip with his new girlfriend. Terry and Josiah would become friends. Before he was set to leave Chicago, Terry got into an argument with his girlfriend, which led to Josiah trying to break the situation up. But Terry attacked Josiah, knocking him out, and even stumped him out. Josiah was taken to the hospital, but later died to brain injuries. Terry was later arrested. Skate border from California is facing first degree murder charges in the death of a suburban Chicago man. 36 year old Terry Kennedy is being held without ETU bond. Kennedy remains behind bars at this hour after authorities say he beat another man. That beating eventually led to that man's death. That other man also a skateboarder. Professional skateboarder Terry Kennedy is pictured here in a booking mug shot in DuPage County. He is facing a number of charges involving the murder of 23-year-old Josiah Cassahun. In a court document, it is alleged that he punched and kicked Cassahun at this Comfort Suites Hotel on Roosevelt Road in Oak Brook Terrace last Tuesday. After being hospitalized at Chicago's Rush Medical Center, he later died on Saturday. The medical examiner says he died of blunt force trauma. Online reports indicate the two men were friends. The 36-year-old Kennedy was originally charged last week with aggravated battery plus criminal trespass to a woman's apartment in Wheaton. That woman is reportedly, according to authorities, his ex-girlfriend. She accuses him of stealing her debit card and jacket and SUV. He is also accused of threatening a police officer. Kennedy, who was from California, has appeared on MTV and in music videos with big names like Snoop Dogg. Harry would have been charged with murder, but with aggravated assault and received five years for taking Josiah's life. This was Terry Kennedy's story. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.